we're seeing a lot of development of new AI solutions, but there are ways in which AI itself is not so new. We've had some of these methods in advanced statistics for a while. What's changed is the availability of data, especially digital data via internet sources. So we've got these massive amounts of data. It's very high quality, it's very granular, and it's available very quickly. And that's enabling these kinds of statistical analyses to be done in a way that wasn't possible before. One thing that I think is new is because of these new analyses that we can do at speed and with great kind of power and, and, and force, we can now also do analyses on the analyses. So we can get the outputs and then we can do new kinds of analyses that we couldn't plan for or anticipate before because we weren't able to do the first generation of analyses. We need to build AI because we need to advance in our societies and in our lives in different ways. And that means we build it for a lot of reasons. Some people build it because it's the next big mountain to climb. Some people build it because they want to find solutions to some of society's worst problems. And of course, some people build it because they think they can make money out of it. We've had this idea that we could build machines that could think like we do. The meaning of that has changed so much over time. And there are a lot of benefits to building systems that can have some form of intelligence to help us do what we want to do but we're also now beginning to perceive the dangers. What I don't think we have to be worried by is, is a kind of matrix style machine takeover. I don't think anyone actually working on machine learning is seriously concerned about that. But we do have to, have to be worried about the things that we always have to be worried about technology, which is that they're going to be used for ill by human beings. They'll uh, be used in ways which cause harm and they'll be used in ways which are abusive and oppressive. Um, and that's especially worrying when we've got technologies like this that really do outpace the ways that we often try and control and put guardrails around that self-same technology. There's still so much more work to do. For example, we still have to progress the technology to make sure it works as it's intended to do without biases, toxicity, and all these risks. Then we also have to make sure that we put it to good use. So we have to worry about these issues of use and misuse. And then we have to make sure we're benefiting everybody and that everybody who needs to both participate in its development and benefit from it is actually doing that. This is going to take incentives, policies, as well as regulation to make sure we get it right. But in the end, it's going to take all of us, not just the developers of the technology, but governments, people, society, and everybody thinking through this together.